Hi everybody, this is Jim Egan, head of school, Synapse School with a Friday update. It has been uh, a, a week. It's been a week for sure. First of all, I wanna say thank you to all of the families and certainly the kids and, and you know, certainly the staff for uh, a wonderful birthday uh, yesterday. I had a birthday yesterday um, on the 13th and it was a surprise and my office was full of beautiful things and balloons and streamers and uh, we had an assembly today that completely took me by surprise uh, and had a trivia game around my life uh, and I, I can't feel anything but gratitude and good fortune and everyone should have the opportunity to be surrounded by so much affection and love and um, I don't, I don't know, I'm feeling adored. <laughs> it, it, it was just wonderful. So uh, thank you, everybody who had a part of that. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, something else that took place this week that's incredible for me was today I had the opportunity to be part of a Zoom chat with uh, Deanna and Katie and Stephanie and Sarah Hill with Judy Human, our change maker. Uh, Judy is coming to speak to us through Zoom. Read the newsletter. We're gonna send everyone a link uh, it is going to be an assembly. It's in the morning. We want parents to get involved too. We're still setting up the logistics, but it'll be in the newsletter. So we're going to have a moderated chat, a talk, a discussion with Judy. Kids will have the opportunity to ask questions beforehand. It'll be cult they'll be um, sort of curated, uh, but there'll also be some live opportunities as well. And we'll likely split it into a lower school and then a middle school uh, discussion, right? Because it'll be a 90 minute block with Judy. So that is incredible for us to have our change maker involved and really, um, we were, you know, I, I don't speak from the eye. I was very excited today to be speaking with Judy and, uh, and she's going to really love meeting our community uh, uh, soon as well. So read about that in the newsletter. Okay, we gave you some data around Omicron, right? We're giving you the dashboard, we're giving you the data, the updates on positives and what have you. Again, this is being given to you to help you make decisions, right? We understand that. Um, at the same time, the uh, I'm, I'm concerned about families. I'm also concerned about staff. And so I'll be asking them a question in this week's 15 fives. That's our weekly check-in around how they're feeling too. And so we're trying to manage uh, a number of things around people's emotions and where they are on the spectrum of risk and acceptance within the pandemic. Um, it's by no means over, but we are starting to move in that direction of endemic. Um, so please, um, that data is really there to just help you make sense of what's going on here. And actually, things look pretty good here, I will say. So uh, we'll be sending that every day. Uh, something else that's important in terms of operations. We have a meeting, Synapse does, with North Fair Oaks and their council in less than two weeks for an amendment to our permit. I've spoken about this before. I'll say it again. It's uh, excruciatingly uh, important for us to have a good meeting with North Fair Oaks. How does this uh, affect you as a parent? All it means for you is that just follow the rules around parking and driving, right? So when we say show up at a certain time for pickup, don't come early and, and have the line get backed up. Uh, if we say don't park on the streets, don't park on the streets, right? So, so specifically, Going in, starting on uh, Tuesday of next week, because we have a holiday on Monday, uh, Martin Luther King Day, uh, if you're going to arrive early or the caregiver arrives early, the, the grandparent arrives early, we're gonna send them to go park at Sports House. It's no problem, they can go do that, right? But we're not gonna have those people uh, slowing the line down like an airport. And, sort of, and we don't have anyone with a whistle and a badge coming and writing tickets. So we're gonna send them over to sports house and they're gonna have to walk over and pick up kids, right? So you wanna tell any caregivers like, don't come early, right? That's what, that's gonna be new. Um, two, don't park on the streets and don't make left-hand turns into our, our lane and don't make U-turns, just don't do it, right? We have just a few weeks before that meeting. Uh, we wanna be the best neighbors possible. We pride ourselves on this. Uh, we feel very fortunate to be part of North Fair Oaks and simply um, just adhere to some basic standards of driving. That would be really helpful. That's all you gotta do, so it's not a big ask. So, thank you. And um, some people have asked about our policy shifts and you know how are we making shifts in terms of COVID to go back to Omicron. Um, the, I was thinking about this, right? We had to send home uh, one of our 
L1 classrooms uh, this week. And it's starting to feel like, to me, um, think of uh, like a ship, right? Or, or even like a, 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 the, the Chinese were the first to develop this with their ships, right? That um, they created watertight compartments. And you had those compartments, right? The Titanic was, was famous for this as well. Um, they, they can be shut off if leaks start to come in, right? And so once the leaks are fixed, you can open up the compartment. And so think of us as a ship that we're trying to get to port. Port would be June. And along the way, we're going to have to make uh, reactions to any leaks that are happening. So it's not sort of a set policy and it's linear. It's really like a ship taking out water. That's what it, that's what it feels like to me. So if you can think of it that way, um, that we can sort of have these watertight compartments, these classrooms, but they're gonna occasionally leak and occasionally we have to shut them down, right? And so that's really what it's like now, which operating a ship through a storm uh, and we're taking on some leaks and we need to get it to port, so we need to shut off those compartments, okay? That's uh, the big thought for the Friday. Have a great long weekend. Uh, welcome your feedback. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out. Okay, be safe. Talk to you soon.